for, or why you'd want this amusement park to close so badly. How could you know? Your intellect is so far inferior to mine. It all started on a boring Friday night when I didn't have a date. Hard to imagine. I decided to run some experiments on the steel used to build the park's rides. I found that if you melted the steel down and combined it with chromium, stalagmite, and mercury phosphate, it created a kind of super helium. Shaggy and Scooby must have inhaled some helium gas from the manticore's posterior relief hole. That's why their voices were so high. I figured if I could get the park to close, I could take all the steel, melt it down, and sell the super helium to the Australian Zeppelin fleet. I'd have made a fortune and shown you up in the process, Velma. Another mystery solved. It still seems like something's missing. Meddling kids and their dog will foil your plan. Yep, that would be it. I know who has the planisphere disc piece, but not where. Speak. I put a bug on Velma when I saw her earlier. She didn't suspect a thing. Later, I heard Fred tell her that Shaggy and Scooby have the piece. But he didn't say anything more than that. He told Velma and us enough. Everything will work out just fine. You see, Scooby is a far more trusting companion than Pericles was to me.